How's everybody doing? Well, this is quite a download. I've always known about this. But it started becoming more and more apparent. And it kept coming up, kept coming up, kept coming up, kept coming up. Money, lots of money. You know, me personally, I like to work for my money. I'm not a gambler. I don't play lotto. I don't play scratch off. I don't do you know, none of that. I, it never interests me. Never caught my attention. But the past two and a half years, you know, maybe every other month, I will get these messages. You're going to be the first millionaire in your family. Well, I already am that, you know, and that's my mindset. It's always been, because it's not about having a million dollars in the bank. That that that's not what that's not what being a millionaire is about. Whether you have a million dollars in the bank or not, that's not what makes you a millionaire. What makes you a millionaire is how you think, your mindset. Because if, even if you don't have a million dollars in the bank and you think like a millionaire, like a millionaire, you talk like a millionaire, you act like a millionaire, you dress like a millionaire, you hang around in places that millionaires hang around, read literature that millionaires do, then it is a culture, a field of energy that you create for yourself. That's the true wealth. You know, talk, fake it till you make it. But there's a lot of truth to that shit. It really is. It really is. I mean, take me, for example. I pay $200 a night in the hotel. I pay far more. You all know that. You all know that. Far more. 1000 a night, even. And sometimes I don't know where the next dollar is going to come from. But it comes because I never worry or doubt about money. I've always been this way, even as a child. I used to always tell my mom and my dad, I'm going to be a millionaire and I'm going to have mansions. I used to say that when I was little. Well, I, I already came from middle class, upper middle class in the Dominican Republic. So money was never a problem for me or for my family. Not in the sense of having it. Now, the drama that comes with it, that's a different story. But as far as having it, that's never been a problem. Or manifesting it. Or you don't even have to have the actual cash on hand. You can live the lifestyle and have the material things without actually having the cash in your hand. That's great manifestation without the cash. Because it's, it's never really about the cash in hand. It's your thinking. Like it says in the Bible. So a man thinketh, so he is. We're talking about Neptune again. The secret. It goes right back to that. But you know what they say, right? Better said than done. Uh, you can find yourself in situations where there's financial scarcity. Even among financial scarcity, you still got to think like a millionaire and think and act and talk and don't let it affect you. Don't talk in the will be. Talk in the now. If you read the book, The Secret, that's what they talk about. That's Neptune. You guys, you guys have seen my channel. You've been a part of me long enough to know that. You've seen me live it. You've seen me manifest it. But this is something else, though. I keep getting this download. And it's not just me. 
There are other chosen ones that are getting the same download. And then I'm witnessing through my tarot readings and other readers too, all this conspiracy to set up divine ones, chosen ones, set them up, take out a hit, buy, pay a hitman, have them killed. It's not just me that's in this predicament. There are many chosen ones that are in this predicament. I spoke to six in three weeks. Six. And the police is involved, the FBI, just like my case, and so many others. And I wasn't putting it together. Why is there a... Um, when you say a serial killer, you're talking about one person. This is not one serial killer. This is a network of serial killers out to take out divine ones, divine masculine, divine feminines. It's not that they know each other. It's that there's an agency, a coven of evil that kind of knows that we're about to hit it big somehow, a blessing from the universe. 144 chosen ones. Emperor, empresses, divine masculines, divine feminines, high priests, high priestess, higher found, you know, high, that, that level of ascension for the work that we've done. And we're about to become millionaires. And it's going to happen to the lottery. A lot of us are going to be first millionaires in our bloodlines. And it's going to happen to the lottery. It keeps coming up, keeps coming up, keeps coming up, keeps coming up. Keeps coming up to the point where we, can, we cannot ignore it anymore. Now we have to look at it. Because when we look at it, and then we put the pieces together as to why there's so much persecution against us, now it makes sense. There are people here that know that we're about to hit it big, many of us. 144 is not a lot, but I don't know how this is going to manifest. It could be 144 of each tribe of chosen ones, the tribe of Judah, the tribe of Esdras, the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Zebulun, the tribe of Tipare, the tribe of Asher, the tribe of Benjamin. And these people, family members, our own karmic partners, lovers, they want to kill us, take us out, take our money. Ah, such a headache. I had a child. You know, I went out to dinner with some friends, and I have this child, uh, you know, young, 12, young child. And he, out of the blue, just blurted out, out of the blue, and we were all eating. Wow, someone's going to be a millionaire. Someone's going to win the lottery. And, you know, we all froze and looked at him. What the hell does this child know about that? It's almost like it's so in your face. It's, it's bubbling in the surface. It's a gift from the divine. And there are people that know this and they want to bank in on it. Either by, they, be, they, want, to, they want to be latchkey with us. They want to be connected to us to get, our, to get our money. Or want to kick us out and take the money. And this to me made a lot of sense why there's so much attack happening to divine ones recently, lately. And it's really, really, really severe. It's really, really bad. And I'm like, what the fuck is this persecution against us like this one? Now I understood why. This is the reason why. This lottery, which is about what, $1 billion or so $3 billion or $6 billion, I don't know what it is. I don't play lottery. I don't do that. I, I just don't. I, you know, I, never, I just don't. I just don't. But I was told to play. So I'm going to take my Dominican ass and I'm going to go buy a ticket and play. I suggest for those of you who are divine ones, chosen ones, to do that. Because that is where we're going to get our blessings. A gift. Now, there's a lot that comes with that, though, if you are going to win this lottery. I'm not saying you're going to win the whole billion. You're going to win as much as you're capable of handling. Because some people can kill themselves in two or three days with this kind of money. It's a Russian roulette for some people. And it's a blessing for others. So I used to be a tax accountant. 
And, you know, I run a nonprofit company. I was a CEO. I was a CFO. So I know about money. And for those of you who don't, I suggest that you hire a financial planner and a financial advisor. Now, don't hire them yet if you don't know what a financial planner is and what a financial advisor is. And I would like you to go to a college or a university that specializes in business. And I want you to make an appointment with the chairman of the department. If you got to pay them something, do it. If you got to go and maybe read the books in the libraries, go to a good library and go to the reference station and ask the librarian, the reference library, to get you a book on the ABCs of financial planning and financial, you know, financial instruments is the other. And I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to explain what that is. When you get this kind of money, you need to know what to do with it. You just cannot let it sit in a bank. It's, it's income. You're going to be taxed like, like a motherfucker, especially if you are single. If you're married with children, it's easier. But even then, you need to know what to do. And you cannot let people know that you got this money because you'll be targeted. A financial advisor will tell you how to manage your money and how to shelter your money. A financial advisor, a financial planner is different. A financial planner will tell you how to specifically use financial instruments to protect your money. Now, what is a financial instrument? Well, Roth RIAs, regular RRAs, annuities, trusts, you need to learn these terms and you need to learn what they are. And you need to put money in these financial instruments to protect that money. This money you're not going to have access to. You, you have to put a couple of years as to how it's going to be sheltered. It will not be taxed while it is under shelter. That way you don't lose your money through taxation. You could develop foundations of charity. And that can offset the taxes and you get it as credit. There are many ways. This is how the rich protect their money. You need to learn this. And I mean, you have to hit it running. Because it's coming. A lot of you are going to be millionaires. And a lot of you don't have that experience of being millionaires. And you need to know what to do with your money. And don't let people know that you got this winning because they're going to come after you. This, I, it finally came to me why this, we are so targeted. People, there are people out here that know that this is coming and we're going to get this blessing. So my suggestion to you, if you're divine one, chosen one, is that you better keep your fucking mouth shut. Go under the radar for a minute. Don't make the mistake like Mary J. Blige, MC Hammer, Tony Braxton that lost all their money and they was being taken away from the right underneath their nose because they were great artists but knew nothing about fucking money and they never once bothered to take a course on finances. TLC got broke because their manager was taking money from right underneath. They did all this money, got all this money, made all this music and they never once took out a fucking course to learn how to learn about money, how money works. Don't let that happen to you. Okay? So if you've seen the number 144, you're going to hit it big. Bitch, nigga, you better, you better stop playing. You need to learn about taxes and how to pay your taxes. Once you get this money, you got to go to the IRS and pay that money up front. If you don't know about this, you need to talk to an RIA advisor or attorney. It's free. Prepare yourself. Wealth requires preparation. Okay. Habija, uh, no, my name is not Nando, it's Fernando. Nando is my twin brother's name. So we chosen ones, we're about to get this bag. We're about to get this bag, okay? Do I need to illustrate? 
We're about to get this bag. Don't let the government take it from you through taxes and don't let no family member, friends, or anyone try to kill you for it either. This is your bag from the universe. Trust nobody, even your accountant. Learn what it is to be an accountant. Take a course, audit a course in accounting so you know what he knows so they don't take your money from underneath your face. No, I don't want you to use no app. No, because it can be traced and it can be hacked. Go to an institution. Go to a college institution. Get it from an accredited university. Learn about it. Get forms, get papers. Write to the State Department. Go on the website and look up the Department of Finance and then write the address and get it directly, not through the internet. How can the chosen ones can help others? By giving the money away. Find out who's needed in your community. Our welfare, our child protective services, ACS, uh, charities, you can donate to charities like Catholic Charities, uh, United Way of America. You know, find charities that are reputable and have been around for a long time. You give that money, you get that back as tax credit. This is what an advisor can do for you and help you. No, 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 you don't play it through an app. You, you're going to win by going to an actual place like Kroger's, Kmart, where they sell the lottery. And, you know, bah, 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 bah. you know, this is how you do it because it, 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 it's unquestionable that it, that shit can be falsified and changed. I, but you know what? If you want to do it, go with your heart. Go with your intuition. But some of you are going to be millionaires. Some of you are going to get this bag. All right? Some of you are going to get this bag. Don't let no one take your bag. That's all I'm saying. Uncle Fernando ain't going to steal you wrong. That's what I'm here for. And I know about money. And you already you already know my, my story. People trying to take my money, take my inheritance, try to have me killed, took an insurance policy in my name without my permission. This bitch in Florida had me married without my permission to then have me kill and take my money and put an insurance policy. You'd be, you'd be surprised what people will do. Protect yourself. And if you don't believe that you are the one that's going to win, well, bitch, nigga, you better put yourself in the mindset that you are going to win because then you're not going to be able to handle it. And this money can be a curse and destroy you. So you're going to have to make a choice real quick. I don't know. You need to invest and investigate should the choice one invest in cannabis. You need, you need to do your homework. You need to do the work and find out. Don't give that responsibility to somebody else to tell it for you. Then that means you ain't doing the work. The crop might be good one season, it could be fucked up the next season. Look what's happening with all the flash flooding and all the torrential rain that's happening. Three, four inches in one fucking day. That can destroy the crops. Then you have these forest fires in California burning all kinds of bushes. You don't know one day from the next what's going to happen with these uh, growth. So no, you, you, you have to use your discernment. That's right, Rihanna. Girl, my umbrella, yeah, yeah, gonna be my umbrella. I love Rihanna, but he was stealing from her. I know about that. But Rihanna knows nothing about money or accounting practices. And that's where the new millionaires make their mistake. Wesley Snipes was well, another one. Serious trouble. Uh, Nicholas Cage broke it happens to the best of us but if you ask these people if they've ever taken one course in accounting or finance they'll tell you no they're too busy being consumed by their wealth and then other people are taking their shit right underneath their face
I'm telling you. I ain't getting these lying downloads for nothing. And you guys better tip your uncle. It's my birthday or two weekend. 347-485-6258. Okay? Under Zelly. Or PayPal. The people is asked to. Give, throw your uncle some coins. My hotel bill is $200 a day. Throw me some coins. Because you get this money back. Yeah, I, I ain't going to lie. I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to ask for it. Because I'm going I'm to give you information that nobody's going to give you. But you got to do your part. And you got to be responsible because this is, it'll be on you. Okay? Now, I'm being a stern uncle now. And if I didn't love you, I wouldn't be talking to you like this. So please, please, don't let no one take this bag. Let nobody take this bag. All right, guys. Deuces.